and allow kwenye refresh tupuna exclusive interview na msani kutoka 254 Kenya moja ya rapper alia upa mziki wa Kenya Heshima na Thamani the one and only Akto Pizzo no signal staki hama mdena wajojo kule niko lifestyle movie wana pick to my b-roll tell him I'm the shit watch a quest is a t-roll so walikuja Tanzania wiki liopita kwa yile gonga mano la wasani managers producers na wadau wasana lilo andali wana access so Akto Pizzo alikuwa ni moja main speaker wa kongamano hilo hapo sasa ametupa faida na nia ya kongamano hilo na kuachana wasanii wanaoimba kiingereza na kuwa copy wazungu si kwenyu pekee na faujulikane na kama unajulikana kwenyu pekee au jakuwa msanii kama mtu wa nje ajex kiangoma yako na kujui hata ukwe na watu milioni 20 kwenyu ni kwenyu tu juu kwenyu lazima unasikia mcheza kwanza utunzwa utatuzwa lakini sio kutoka nje ina for realize music is a universal language unaona na napenda sana kwanza na, na eko sana Tanzania for pushing the Swahili culture unajua kitambo sisi watu walikuwa nadhani ndio ujuli usikize nje lazima uimbe na kizungu si upiga sheng na Kiswahili na tuko hapa imetufikisha hizi ma levels so hii ni ya kuonyesha pia vijana wadogo si lazima uige be inspired but don't copy be inspired but don't copy. Eh yeah, unaweza kwa inspired na Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, Lil Baby, but sasa sasa wanze wewe ni mtanzani unaanza kuimba kali Lil Baby ama wewe ni mkenya unaanza kuimba kali Lil Wayne. Hiyo hiyo ufanyi wewe. Tamaduni zetu hii ndio time ya sisi kupush tamaduni zetu. Unaona venye Afrobeat wamepush tamaduni yao number one saa hii Afrobeat kila mtu anasikiza. Inafaa in the next three, four years watu wako wanasikiza Swahili music. Peke yake. So tuko na kazi. Tunaweza fraidi kuna few of us wenye wako successful lakini hatujamaliza kazi. Unaona unaona hiyo kazi ya kina Wizkid Bana Boy wamefanya inafanya hata mtu ameanza jana anakuwa star jo anafanya afrobeat. Inafaa tufanye hiyo kazi. Wewe, mimi, Diamond, venye na Skuma Vijan. Ndio mtu akisikia tu Kiswahili rap ama Kiswahili music anafurahi na joy ndio mziki. So hiyo ndo hiyo ndo maana tuko hapa to push hiyo Swahili culture to push hiyo uh, mila zetu na tamaduni zetu na muziki zetu mpaka za kimila zile tunaongea na lugha zetu za mama si hata tukuage tu kila mtu unatoka nadhani unaongea kizungu mimi unajua msanii wa Tanzania kuja anaongea kizungu hatuwezi hata fanya collab juu tayari unanionyesha wewe ujui kenye unafanya wewe unatakuwa mtu mwingine mwenye si wewe eh tunasema lugha pia inasaidia kupeleka muziki international somehow lugha gani Kingereza. Kingereza ni mother tongue ya mzungu. Hiyo ni lugha yake ya mama. Wewe unafurahia kutumia lugha ya mtu mwingine ya mama. Hata hivyo unasema ni international. Unajua ngoma number 1 saa hii unajua Ozuna ama Bad Bunny wanaongea lugha gani? Out of the most streamed kuliko mtu yote. Despacito ni ngoma ya kizungu. Eh, tusidanganyane. Hiyo ni hiyo ni, ni hype. Eh, kizungu ni hype. So, kikubwa ni melody kizuri. Kikubwa ni mziki mzuri. Kikubwa ni Sisi tulikuwa nasikia ngoma za South Africa tujui lugha yao. Mimi nasikia ngoma za Kikongo, Lingala, bado number one mpaka sasa hivi. Sijuagi kitu wanasema, lakini mziki ni tamu. Unasikia? Kuna mtu anasikia Diamond huko Norway. Unadhani anajua Kiswahili? Anapenda rhythm, anapenda mziki. Tusidanganyane atukimba. Watu wa Norway ongee kizungu. Kizungu inaongelewa England pekee my friend na US. Kila other country iko na lugha yao. German wanaongea German, Wafaransa wanaongea Kifaransa. So ndo kuniambia, ah sasa nitaongea lugha zote za duniani ndo nijulikane. Ah tusidanganyane Kizungu. I would say this English is not a measure of intelligence. It's just a language like my mother tongue. Mother tongue yangu ni inaitwa Luo. Eh. Yeah. So huyo mtu anaongea Kizungu na mimi nikiongea Kiluo hatuna tofauti. Baada ya mtandao ni kudai kuwa mziki wa hip hop Kenya haufanyi vizuri kama mziki wa kuimba, yani wasanii wa kuimba ndio wanafanya poa sana na ndio wenye pesa kuliko rappers. Acto Pizzo ana hili la kusema. Ah, hiyo hiyo ni wewe usikizi hip hop bana. Hakuna mziki Kenya, si hakuna hata msanii na make do nyingi Kenya kuliko msanii na do hip hop. Nani amekudanganya ati hao waimbaji na me. Hakuna mimi personally hata nikuongeleshe. Hakuna msanii Kenya ana sign check kubwa kuliko yangu. Does that answer your question? Ah. Si lazima niko kwa TV kila saa ndio nafanya maneno. Wewe unaona gabana boy hapa kwa TV kila saa? 
Unaona gaje hizi kwa TV kila saa? Kuna biashara zingine zitaji wanekane. Sisa hii niko hapa mbona mimi ndo nimeitwa hapa na si watu umetaja. Jibu hiyo. Mbona ja Spotify ni kampuni gani? I understand. Mbona hao watu umetaja hawako hapa? Mimi ndo niko hapa. Eh, so I think mimi muziki yangu tu ili change. Sitaki kuwa sikutaka kuwa kwa kwa bracket ya hip hop pekee. I think kama kau na ni follow vizuri hata unajua nimetoa album like yeah, mwezi moja. Fuego ni ya last year. This year kuna album imetoka one month ago. Na si hip hop. Ni R&B. Eh, jumi sitaki kuwa kwa box. Sitaki kuitwa hip hop artist. Nataka kuitwa artist. Eh. Nataka kuitwa tu artist. Nataka kuwa hip hop artist. Nataka kuwa hip hop artist. Eh, juu hiyo ni kuweka kwa box na maanisha nikifanya kitu kingine, mtu anasema, "Eh, hey, but si hip hop." Kwa hiyo nataka hip hop sikiza zile zingine nilitoa. Eh, niko na album saba. Siwezi kwa albamu zangu zote saba zinafanana. Unaona? So kuna growth na mziki ya Kenya wezi sema hakuna bado kwa hii region watu wanatengeneza pesa kama mziki ya Kenya. Wa Kenya wako na do sidanganye. Na kama unakumbuka mapema mwaka huu comedian kutoka Kenya Eric Omondi aliwacha na vikali wasanii wa Kenya na wadau wa muziki kutopiga mziki wa Kenya sana na kupiga mziki wa nje. So leo tutapiza mazungumzia issue hiyo ya Eric na amewacha na TV na radio zinazopiga ngoma kwa upande leo au kudai pesa. Komonde ongea juu juu ya kulala na ongea juu ya media zetu zichezi ngoma as support Kenyan music. Hiyo ndo kitu Eric Omondi anapigania. Yenye kila mtu inafapigania including nyinyi. If I at mkuja huku unasikia ngoma ya Nigeria. Inafanikiwa kwa hii Tanzania nasikia ngoma pekee za Tanzania labda moja ya Kenya kama ni ya Kiswahili. But ukienda Kenya unasikiza tuseme niende Kenya nasikiza ngoma ya Tanzania kuliko ya Kenya. Kuna makosa mali. Hiyo ni system. Hiyo it has nothing to do with the artist. Is that how the system works? Inafama radio zicheze ngoma sana za wakenya. Wakenya tunawasani wengi bana. Wazuri. Mimi nimekuwa na bati nime travel. Hii dunia sana. Na bado wakuna mziki tamo kuliko ya Kenya. Na kuambia na sikui biased. Njimu na sikia tu Kenya iko kwa TV na radio. Hiyo ndo mnajua. E, kuna watu ujai sikia. Karibu elf kumi. Artist. Umai sikia like ni kuambia sahi. Umesikia mtu anaitwa Liso Duor? Mtu wili. Umesikia mtu anaitwa Umesikia group inaitwa uh, tuseme Brooklyn Boys. Ujaisikia Brooklyn Boys na ndio walikuwa feature data kwa kwa Spotify. This year. Ani vijana wameanza tu juzi. So unaona so mziki haiko kwa radio na TV. Hiyo ni uongo. Hizo hizo miaka zilisha. TV na radio zinacheza watu wanapenda. Si mziki wanape, ni watu wanapenda. So unapata mini kiwa na radio yangu, na sikupendi, sikuchezi. Lakini ngoma ni mzuri yako, but sikupendi. So, mi sikuizi ni kitaka kusikia mziki, siangali TV ya maradio. Naenda kwa hizi streaming platform, na sikia, e na uni nani sijae msikia. Uni nani, na mbona uni ni mkali sana na sijae msikia. Tana taka kufanya kazi na ujama, taka kufanya kazi na umdada. Unaona? So ni weo utafuta, na mini litoka pia, speleki ngoma kwa radio TV. Juhu hapo ndo mkwa mna nisikizia. Sikuizi speleki. Uh, Saifu mwemo kudili na digital platform. Uh, digital platform. Mtu wa radio kwani, jayzu mtu miangoma. Eh, tulitoka huko juu radio na TV ume kwa kitichezea sana. Walijiona kama mungu fulani. Lazima wende wako, ay tafadhali simcheze rekodi yangu. Bro, I don't need you. I don't need them anymore. Wana mchango kwenye muziki. Walikuwa nayo but then the, inafuwa cheze muziki bila bias. Hiyo kitu nimesema ifai yati. Juhu unanipenda utacheza ngoma angu. Inafuwa ni kuambie. Eo mwaisike ngoma. Ebu cheze. Wacha mafanu wachagwe. Wafanu waseme yu ngoma tutaki kwa radio toa. Si producer cheme yati yu ngoma tutacheza. We cheza tu octopizo na diamond. Aa, cheza kila mtu watu wa muwe. Eh hey, nikao tukienda vita tupigane mpaka mtu atashi si ati ah huyu ashashinda huyu ashashinda atusipigane <laughs> eh hey, unaona hiyo ni uongo so so mimi niliacha kupeleka ngoma kwa radio kwa tv niliwaambia venye mnapataga ya Wizkid venye unapataga ngoma ya Beyonce pata yangu iko kwa hizo mtandao zenyewe upata hizo mbona Beyonce ukutumia ngoma kwa 
sasa mbona wewe kama mtu wa wasafi uanze kukaza kijana mdogo anatoka pale Karume anapiga atinitumia ngoma kwa email na amekwambia eh ngoma yangu iko iTunes Spotify uh, na hizi play zote Boomplay hizi zote ngoma zangu ziko huko mimi hata saa zingine ndio anaanza ana hata pesa ya kutuma email mimi nilianza huko najua hiyo uchungu lakini utacheza ngoma ya Jay-Z akwende huko na radio yake na tv yake bana lakini pia akitupiza mbe mchana Eric Moni kwa kitendo chake cha kuwa force wasanii wa Kenya kufanya kiki ili waende mjini jamani ako na point yake unajua lakini sijui kwa umesikia yenye mimi aliniongelelea inafaa wewe ndio usikie ju one uh, missy believe in stunts unajua kuna wase uh, inaitwa gwa kiki huku kuna watu kiki inawa ina, inawafanyia kazi yeah like it, it works for them na kuna watu venye mikari yangu ni reset umaisikia jezi yako na kiki at jezi la ame by Royce Royce unadhani jezi ana Royce Royce ama ako nayo ako nayo exactly si lazima kuambie mimi unajua gari gani naendesha no wezi jua juu si lazima niambie mtu eh yeah, lakini naendesha ji wagon hata Kenya kuna mtu anajua eh yeah, mali mimi natoka pale slums si zianza atinaanza kuonyesha watu Royce Royce Eh hey, nafanua nyeshe venye naweza watu wa huko venye ujanja kutengeneza pesa so tuko tofauti na kuna mtu hiyo Royce Royce namwakia kuna mtu angekuwa na gari zenye mimi niko nazo angekuwa na zipost kila siku so kama it works for you you should do it hiyo ndio tunaweza ambia Eriko Eriko ni boy wangu sana but hiyo ndio tunaweza mwambia kama yeye hey, hizo vitu zina, zinafanya watu wa kuongelele unajua kuna watu wanataka hiyo attention i don't work good in attention mi sitaji kiki niko na following imenitosha na wananijua na wanajua nini nafanya nimeto album mwezi imepita iko na 12 million streams mbona nahitaji kiki mbona nahitaji kiki nalipwa niko na kazi na kula fiti nini nini nahitaji kiki kiki ni ya nini sasa mtu yote anafanya kiki ako njaa inaweza kuwa njaa ya attention Like tunakuwa na kila siku uko club madem nini uko beach nini umetoa shati bra like come on man wapi pesa wapi pesa eh hey, wapi do mimi do. niko kwa hii biashara nitengeneze pesa nikipata biashara nyingine na nitengenezea pesa kuliko mziki na achana na mziki yeah naifanya sasa for fun nafundisha watoto wangu nini Okay, hizi ndo muziki mzuri ndo muziki mbaya. Mi as a fan of music, naweza penda tu kusikia muziki. Stack hizi other theatrics. It doesn't help me. You don't have to pull up on people with many people just to prove you're a superstar. You should feel like a superstar. Mimi nikitembea hapa, umeona hapa na body ga nini? But you'll know it's me. Presence yako ni venye wewe unatembea si ati watu wengine waonyesha eh nani ameingia na watu wengi hapa ni mimi nimeingia na niko peke yangu mtu anataka kunijaribu i'm from the street tuendane si need bodyguard atanisaidia nini pigana vita yako unaona but kuna watu hiyo kitu inawasaidia ina so naweza sema if it works for you just do it just do it but It doesn't work for me and majority of us. Like I gave you this Jay-Z, this Beyoncé, the many successful artists here. There's Ali Kiba here, who's I'm a big fan. Akwa gina kiki mob. Ana mafano wake, atatoa ngoma yake, watu wake wasikize, wangoja wengine. Eh. Wewe unataka kutembea uchi, tembea uchi. Sasa kuna zand ni kabisa tulizipata kuwa Octopizo hamkubali kabisa Damon Platnumz na hata kwenye baadhi ya interviews huwa anamchana mm, squad CA check this out Azi mini fan wa muziki mini fan hadi wa Diamond eh mini fan wa muziki mzuri man kwanza kitu uh, the biggest thing uh, mimi napenda about Damon ni, ni business mimi unajua siangaliagi mtu on one spectrum naweza kuwa spendi muziki yako but napenda who you are na Kenya unafanyia industry yako. Kenya Diamond anawafanyia hii industry is something that should be appreciated so many times besides him being an artist. Zo platform ana create, hizi makazi ame create for watu. This goes than music, man. This is what this is what being an artist is. Wacha na mziki. Hit song ina ina last one month, bro. Watu wanataka nyingine. Mziki ni one month. Ah nyingine, nyingine, but hizi vitu wamefanya leo wewe ukienda home na familia yako 
wanakula jo ali create platform yeah. mwanamuziki mwingine mwenye aliletwa na diamond family yake mama yake nani kuna watu hadi waimbi wanafaidika jo hizo platform this is what i respect about him this is this is, is something i've always wanted to tell him in his face like bro this is some dope shit yeah this this is this is what we should be doing yeah this is what every artist of our caliber should be doing i do it differently i do it with my foundation ya yeah, miss kwenda yonje ya mziki juu kudeal na wasanii ni stress atakwambia ni stress igo nyingi mnaanza kubishana nini mabifu sina hiyo nguvu mimi nataka tu naenda kwa community na nafanya vitu zangu na maliza but i'm a big fan of who he is and what he does for this for this industry man yeah thank you for your time octopizo yeah. bless bless maze wasafi hata kuna saifa nimewafanya mtaisikia juzi nimewataja huko